Mark Changizi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about mass hysteria, mass delusion, madness of crowds, mass psychosis. These sorts of things are the topic that Dr. Tim Barber and myself are working on now, and it naturally comes out of our previous research direction, which concerned the origins of emotional expressions in our upcoming book. Emotional expressions undergird the kinds of putting reputation at stake between individuals over time on who's right, and over time some people acquire a higher reputation, some lose reputation by virtue of being wrong and right. It's these things, these emotional expressive interactions, which lead to a network of people that are high reputation or lower reputation that naturally leads to us studying kind of these sorts of social network effects that lead to, that sometimes break down and one has mass hysteria. But the key, because a lot of people keep saying to me, uh, well, uh, these people are psychotic, and in fact, a lot of the old ideas about mass psychosis and madness of crowds is the individuals within them are psychotic or are mad, that there's something wrong with their brains. That's not at all the case. There's nothing crazy about people in mass delusions. They're just like you. They're listening to the evidence in coming to believe what they believe, just as you do. In fact, we talked about this in a recent science moment. They come to believe what they believe by virtue of the network of folks around them and listening to each of these things according to the reputations of those who have them. That's basically how we come to our beliefs, and they're no different than you. A mass delusion is an, an emergent phenomenon by virtue of the way these social networks work and the way the emotional expressions and reputation transfers occur. To understand this requires understanding it at the network level and understanding it the entirety of this thing, from emotional expressions to these individual social interactions to teeming large numbers of such social, social interactions and what happens at the network scale. It's not about individuals being crazy. It's crazy at the network level, not at the individual level. And that was your science moment.